play Skyrim. I'm level 81. Let's see what select what missions I want to do. I got a little thicker about my scar in there, I'm not speaking it. No, in this car room. Yeah, I'm an orc. I mean, an orc. I can change my, uh, my, uh, race, sex, anytime I want. I need some male or female. The Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. You should see my swords, what they do here in a minute. Look at my temple lying in ruins. It's so much for the me constancy of How mortals. can my love reach them? to their hearts? That's running my ear. to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple, now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, 
burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. I have commanded. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, guide this light through my temple and its doors will open.
Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We go. Stay alert. Never know when those stormcloak dogs might charge. So, the General and I have our... I need you to deliver some false orders to the stormcloak commander in Dawnstone. But first, we need to get our hands on some rebel orders to make the forgeries. The Nightgate and Candle Hearth Inns are frequent stops for Stormcloak runners. See if you can't convince one of the innkeepers to help you. One way or another, get me those documents. But don't do anything rash if you go to Windhelm. Well, soldier, can you do this? May the gods keep you. In all my years, I've never seen such a thing.
By the gods, I don't even know what to say. I value my privacy, so if you don't mind... Hadring got himself another... You see any other inns around here? Where else would I go to drink? Sure, walk away. I wasn't talking or anything. Make sure I got the water wire. Something I ah, hello there, traveler. I tend to keep my patrons' privacy. It is? Well, that's different. He was here, but he left. If you leave now, you can probably catch him. Or you can just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. Anything you need, just holler. Can't help you, friend. Talk to Hadring, the innkeeper. No time to talk. Out of my way. We'll see about that.
Very good. Let's see what you have here. Interesting. They know more of our plans than I expected. It would seem Fort Dunstad is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct some of these documents. That should do it. Make sure those forged documents get to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. All right, then. Think you might be in the... All right, let's take a look. Ah, good. Looks like the reinforcements for the fort are on the way. And we have some information about enemy troop movements as well. Excellent. It's not easy running messages, what with Imperial scouts crawling all over the place. Well done. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Wind Peak before heading back? Mm-hmm. Divine sakes. You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Anymore. Your man Horik is wearing his old Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. 
Unless you're here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't need you. That's right, Dawnstar. My Dawnstar is plagued with nightmares. I haven't slept properly in days. That priest of Mara who came here before you says the Divines will cure us. Well, until they do, I don't have any business to discuss with outsiders. The only reason dragons are attacking is because Talos is angry with us for turning our backs on him. As soon as we drive the Empire out of Skyrim, the dragons will vanish. Mark my words. Well, the Stormcloaks are destined to win this fight. Talos is with us, and when you fight under a Divine's blessing, <laughs> victory is assured. Dawnstar has a history of being the site of battles that have crippled the fate of the Empire. <laughs> I hope this remains true. Don't bother me again unless it's important. Heard about you and your honeyed words. I envy you, travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago. I play songs and help with the drinks when I have the time. My mother taught me. She was a bard from the college in solitude. I hear they accept most people who apply, if you're ever interested. Sure. What can I do for you? Yes. This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With the voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. Get away from me! Need a room? Don't worry. Nightmares don't see- Here. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. People say there's someone in Riften that can... change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, look at the colors. What troubles you, my son? Let me know if there's anything else you need.
Sleep well. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well... That's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, uh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. I can hear you talking out there. My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Please. I, I don't know. I mean, but uh, war is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that. Could they? Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is. I'm None sorry. of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would it right in your face. Excuse me, what kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home Where it is? Ah, Varsha, at Let's your service. Obtainer here. of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed? Again. A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? 
Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. See what that was. Time is it? Eight sixteen. Let's see. <gasps> Not time, you see. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, Kaylee. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. But you might... Ah, oh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. The unholy matron, the shrouded lady, the mistress of the void. Today, she's... Yes. The Night Mother... I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months. They used to come... The Night Mother... But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was... But people don't know that. You can run, obviously. But you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But, there is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties... erased. For a price. Something to think about. Used to be the Dark... All those rules... Bottom line, res this sanctuary, I had an, un I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now here we are. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. <laughs> again, again, do the part where he tries to. How about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! No bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? 
Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> there you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gab with you. Welcome, my uh, brother. I Welcome to our way. sanctuary. You have made the right choice, Jordan. Yeah. I assure you. Yeah. So you're the new. Save the niceties for now. Uh. I have no intention of. If you're still breathing in a. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell. Born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate, a fighter. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Let me guess, Astrid. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment, so you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid, 
I hate annoying people, and the color blue gives me a headache. Later, Hamlet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on, let's see my game. <laughs>